Hello Capricorns, welcome to your general reading for the month of August 2020. So if you are a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this reading is for you. Okay, it will not resonate with all of you. So if you would like your own personal reading, my links are down below. Okay, I had already pre-shuffled for you and this is going to be not just about love. This is whatever I see for the month. Um, sometimes I tend to see this as the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, the end of the month, but take how it resonates. Uh, this can be happening at the end of the month or any time, okay? So however it resonates for you. Some of the stuff that I mentioned might have already come into play since we are in the middle of the month now. So Capricorn, I see some kind of hope that has become a burden when I look at these two. I also see, you know, I, I want to say this, like you're wishing for things to just not be as hard as they are. Okay, and I know that's pretty general because especially with what's going on in the world, a lot of people are hoping for that too. So it's, you're not the only one, of course, but I do see that standing out more in your reading, okay? Um, I also pick up some sort of uh, strong spiritual beliefs that weigh over you. Maybe I hear the word guilty conscience, if that makes sense. Um, like you feel so guilty about something or you feel responsible, maybe you feel responsible for always, I, I, what I'm picking up, um, is that the, whoever has wronged you and whoever you've gotten mad at, you keep turning a, you're around. This is what I'm strongly getting right now in the blue. It's like the person, whoever's done anything wrong, you end up feeling so bad about getting mad at them about it. And it's not because you're horrible about getting mad or you're, it's not because you're abusive or have a very bad temper. Maybe you do, maybe that's why, but regardless, it's like whatever you get disappointed at, you feel like it's you, it's like your fault in the end. Don't do that because I see that happening this month. Maybe that's kind of common for you anyway. Um, but that's what comes out also with this. So maybe there's a struggle with another, uh, you know, every time I say something new, it's a different message. So I do see kind of like a struggle between, should I believe in spiritual versus religious, even though they're both, they're both spiritual, but you know what I mean? Like, should you believe in man-made religion or spirituality, right? Or however it is, because, you know, I'm open to all religions, right? But it's whatever you believe that makes you happy. That's what I think. But just saying, I feel like some of you are kind of deciding whether you should stay on a spiritual path or more organized religion path. And it's kind of um, not eating you up inside, but kind of it's coming out right here. So I feel like maybe that's something that you've been kind of going back and forth between. Should I believe in the Bible, for example? This is just an example. Like, should I believe in the Bible? Should I believe in, uh, you know, uh, you know, psychic ability and stuff like that? <laughs> um, not, you, you know, you can believe in both a little bit, I guess. But, you know, I feel like you might be struggling there. But there is some kind of wishful thinking that has become a chore. Like maybe you're pushing too hard to think or hope for something that's happened, right? A lot of times when I get the stars next to the clouds, for example, which is not here in your reading, this is usually like uh, having doubts about what you have been wishing for, like something that you once hoped for has now had now become more of a doubt. Or with the mice, like for example, next to the stars, I don't have the mice here either, but I kind of see that a little bit as the same way, being that the cross is about pain and suffering, it's like, wishing that this problem would end or just feeling like whatever you've been manifesting or, tr or trying to manifest or wish for is now become less of like you feel like there's more doubts with it um i feel like you're just trying to make sense of it all that's what i'm getting but again some kind of uh like i said some kind of wishful thinking becomes a chore um i do see hoping to communicate with someone okay I don't know who it is, most likely a woman, but it may not be a woman. It doesn't have to be, just saying I do see with the woman card being there. Uh, one thing I also see is being nice to someone because you feel like you have to, like kissing their ass. And maybe that's kind of in conjunction with what I said about feeling guilty about something. Forget, it's, it's like, it's like, like I said, you get mad at someone and then you feel guilty about being mad at them, even though they you had every right to be. <laughs> <laughs> but but there's that feeling obligated to kiss someone's ass or be nice to them all right it's almost like a lot of obligations take center stage during uh especially during the beginning of the month so again this might have already passed so you might have been like well that already happened and got that over with now but just telling you what i see right uh be careful with trying to please others though don't be a doormat okay um sort of like is is kind of uh related to the kind of things that i was saying already but just 
reminding you that, okay? Don't be a doormat, nobody needs to be, no matter what your sign is. There is some kind of fateful visit happening though. It's like it was meant to be, or that it's almost like life-changing. I don't know where you're going. I don't really have travel cards here, but I'm, but I'm sort of seeing some kind of place that you visit, like it was meant to be, or that it's like, it's almost like a place you've never been to before, but it feels like you lived there before, almost like deja vu or some kind of, like I'm visualizing you going somewhere and going, I feel like I lived here before, but I've never been here before. It, it's almost like, um, like you questioned, did I live here in a past life sort of thing? Not that you did, just same. It's some kind of like, or, or maybe you, you go somewhere and realize this is the place that we're supposed to be at. Like this is the place I wanna, spend the rest of my life at, right? It could be something like that. Even, even though, again, I don't see relocation in your cards, but I'm getting that in my head, okay? Because I will get other things in my own head, right? Um, what else do I get? I do see a reward, like a reward for something. It could be a degree, like um, graduating, you know, when I get these two together, I do see like a certification, of excellence, right? Maybe your child is like perfect. Uh, I know school just started in most of the uh, USA, right? <laughs> USA Inc. It's called, it's a corporation, by the way. If anyone doesn't know that, it's not even a country, it's a corporation. I like to throw in some truth in my readings. A lot of people know that, but a lot of people you'd be surprised does not know that. <laughs> um, yeah, there's certification, some type of license, like some type of you're being rewarded for completing something, whether it's an online school, college, um, or uh, getting your, uh, or, or uh, what do you call it? Um, renewing a license, renewing a reg some kind of, it's like there's some kind of reward or acknowledgement for something good. So that's good. Um, whenever I get the bouquet and letter, this is also an invitation to like a birthday party, a baby shower. It could be a wedding, a party. It could be anything, just some kind of invitation. But, um, oh, also it could be connected to someone asking you out on a date. This is my, will you go out with me type of, uh, when I get those two, because it's like messages could be flirtation. This could also be meeting someone online or a lot of messages that happen between you and this person, like a pen pal. But of course, a lot of people do meet online these days. So it's, you know, it's pretty common, but I do see a lot of like invitation for something it could be from a friend. But then again, I, why do I hear I can't make it? I can't make it. So I feel like you might not be able to go because you have other obligations or that the timing is just off, right? That's what I get. Nothing big, just that's what I hear. I don't know why, but I'm also hearing beating around the bush. Beating around the bush. As if someone doesn't cut to the chase or who's playing phone tag. Someone's not saying what they want to say. Maybe they want to. I'm not seeing that in the cards though. Maybe. I just hear it in my head though, beating around the bush. Somebody's taking too long to answer. Um, I do see a lot of romance. So Capricorn women may be wanting a lot of romance or that a woman brings you romance, right? I also see a very kind and compassionate woman who helps or there's making up with some kind of a woman, like a sister, a mother, a f female friend. It could be a man, but I'm just gonna say woman because it's, she's in the cards, okay? Um, it could be like a mother issue or at least someone tries to. Um, but the, the problem with the making up though, there's the mountain is, is next to the woman. So I feel like whoever's trying, okay, either you do make up, but it's like superficial. Like it's not, you're just making up to be nice. I did see that earlier, didn't I? About feeling like you have to be nice to someone. It's almost like you just make up with this person, but you'd rather not, like you don't really care or you just, they get on your nerves. They're like, whatever. I'm just gonna be like cool with them because I don't feel like dealing with this bullshit anymore type of thing. But there is some kind of issue that seems small at first and then it begins to grow into a bigger issue if it's not taken care of. What is that saying? An ounce of prevention is worth a pound or what is it? An ounce of what is it? <laughs> uh, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. I forget how it goes. Something like that. I'm picking up that too. Um, but the reason I'm saying an issue that's small that becomes bigger is because the child in the mountain. However, it could be totally flipped. It could be because 
in some cases it could be something that was such a big deal becomes not as much of a big deal because the child is the card of context of something small. So, and the mountain is the context of something that's very big. So it's like something that was a big deal isn't, is becomes a small issue. Like, mm, you know what girl, he ain't nothing but small potatoes now. No, he ain't nothing now. Who cares? Move on next. You know, if you're, that's just an example, right? If you're like, getting over some jerk that you're like, oh, he, he's just nothing now, right? Like, oh my God, I miss him to like, hmm, screw him, whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever it is, it may not be a love issue, but it could be being that I do have the heart and woman. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else? I see some of you wanting a child, but it's hard to get pregnant right now because we do have the mountain above the child and the woman in heart next to it. Sometimes that is a pregnancy. Um, or maybe there's some kind of issue with being pregnant, like it's a very hard pregnancy. Um, or you got bigger than more than you wanted to. Now I know that's very general. Who doesn't want to really, no one wants to really gain a lot of weight when they're pregnant, but you know, maybe someone gained more than they wanted to, or maybe they didn't grow. Maybe they lost weight when they didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything, I'm not, by the way, I'm not seeing any big health problems here. So don't worry. Just saying, you know, that's, that's pretty common in pregnancy anyway. Um, why do I feel like an adult daughter blocks you? If you are a mother and father and your daughter is like 18 or over, there's some issues there with adult children. It could be a son. I'm just going to say the woman, a daughter, because we do have the lady across from the child. This could be a female daughter. Some of you are having a baby girl. If you are pregnant, I am seeing for a lot of you. Every time, I feel like it's every time I do Capricorn reading, if I do see a pregnancy, isn't it always a girl? It's so weird. You know, it's funny. My mom's a Capricorn and she had three girls, no boys. It's very, and I have another friend who has two girls and no boys. And I have another friend, my, one of my friends in California, she has three girls and she's a Capricorn. It seems like Capricorns are very known to have like all the same sex or girls, <laughs> or maybe that's just the way I see it. I get out, you know, every, I'm sure there's plenty of Capricorns have boys too, but I think it's common for Capricorn women to have like more girls than boys. I guess, I'm guessing <laughs> I'm the baby of four girls though. Cause my dad had one with his first wife. So I'm the youngest. I'm the baby, four girls. Yeah, my dad had four girls. <laughs> Crazy, my poor dad. Anyway, um, yeah, so there could be some kind of issue. I'm not saying that the adult daughter is going to block the parent, but that could be some issues or just a stubborn daughter with her feelings or something to do with that because this could be an adult daughter with stubborn, stubborn feelings that you know, sometimes the mountain is a blockage, like wanting to block her feelings out. Um, what else? There could be issues dealing with a difficult child in general. Sometimes this, this means a difficult child, a woman that deals with a difficult child. Okay. But again, all children act up, don't they? Right. I'm a mom too. Luckily, my only child is an adult now. <laughs> don't have to worry about that anymore. One was enough for me. I had her young though. So one is enough. Um, I, I, you know, I pick up a child with speech problems. I don't know why I'm not seeing that in the cards. I do, I mean, I have the child, but I don't know why I'm seeing speech impediment or speech problems. I have that issue too, by the way. That's why I, the words don't always come out right. I admit it. <laughs> but that is, uh, you know, I, I see that though. So that is a little concerning, but it's not something serious like life or death. So that's nothing to worry about there. But um, with the woman heart and mountain next to each other, one other storyline I'm getting for some is there's some kind of issue of trying to block another woman from communicating with your partner. Mm -hmm. Like if there's a third party, you're like, no, you can't talk to him type of thing, like fighting over a man, not for, it could be a baby mama, like, uh, like someone's ex baby. Like, for example, if you are with someone and he has a child with another woman, you, there could be some hard feelings there. But again, like I saw earlier, there could also be that I'm going to kiss her ass just to be civil because I'm tired of dealing with her shit type of thing. Okay. Um, if that's not the case, there could be issues about a woman blocking her child from the other parent. So remember what I said about the baby mama, there could be just issues with the mother blocking the father from seeing their child or vice versa. I'm not sure. Um, the main message that I get from the top row, like just looking at the top row is, I want to say wishing for more social interact action, but it's very challenging this month or wishing that a female friend wasn't so stubborn or the need to block them needing to the need to block a woman, you know, 
um, which I saw that earlier. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Lenormand never fails when they're trying to tell you things. They all come out, it's almost like all the same, except for the stuff that I saw in my head. The bottom rows, basic message, one of them, there's many more, by the way, I'm just giving you the main ones that I see here, okay? Because Lenormand, you can go on for hours and hours. I'm not joking, yes, you can. Um, the bottom row, I kind of pick up, maybe there's burdens about how to express new feelings, right? New feelings or how hard it is to emotionally deal with a child during the month or an issue that you're making it into, like I said, a bigger issue than it should be or they are, okay? But overall, Capricorn, I do see a lot of you hoping for some kind of new beginning, hoping for a new beginning or hoping for um, something about a child. Want, like I saw earlier, someone wanting a child, right? And just a lot of issues, uh, you know, pertaining to responsibilities and burdens weighing over you heavily with the mountain and cross card. So overall, that's what I have for you. Uh, try not to just, uh, yeah, you're going to be a little, ch there's just a, a lot of ups and downs. So, you know, again, you know, now that you know, maybe you can try to prevent them, right? <laughs> that's the wonderful thing about readings. <laughs> But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed your reading. i uh, very sorry if it did not help you or resonate with you. Um, but again, if you would like your own personal reading, all my links are down below. I will see you guys on my next video.